Tonight was the final meeting this season in the Battle of Ontario. The Senators desperate for points to try and keep their slim playoff hopes alive. They're three back for the final spot in the wild card race, and it's the same situation in the Atlantic Division. Three minutes into this one, Joffrey Lupo left alone in front, gets the puck, beats Andrew Hammond, moves to the second, Ottawa on the power play. Eric Carlson sneaks in from the point, pots the rebound. Five minutes later, James Van Riemsdyk works the give and go with Peter Holland. JVR finishing things off. You can make it two to one, Leafs. Just over a minute into the third, Ottawa power play Mark Stone has his 22nd and it's huge, tying this game up at two. Overtime solves nothing, so the shootout is needed. Eighth round, Ottawa goes to Carlson, but Jonathan Bernier makes his seventh straight save. Nervous moments here for Sens fans. Peter Holland beats Hammond. Leafs win 3-2. And the Senators leave a big point on the table. They were keeping an eye on this game, Penguins and Flyers. Pittsburgh holding on to one of those wild card spots, three points ahead of Ottawa. Late in the first, Braden Shen takes a hit to start the play. Jacob Borchek snipes a power play marker. Fly Flyers tie it despite being outshot 22 to four in the first. Second period, Philly with another man advantage. And it's Shen again with a fluky goal this time. Flyers win 4-1 over the Penguins. And that's pretty big for the Sens in terms of the wild card race because the Penguins and Red Wings are tied at 95 points. So Ottawa does move within two. The same can be said for the final position in the Atlantic Division. Boston moving into third place there because Detroit lost tonight. Habs and Panthers. Montreal looking to avoid its First four-game losing streak in over a year in the first. Max Pacioretty is knocked off balance, falls awkwardly into the boards. He was slow to get up after taking what seemed to be a hit to the head on the way down. He struggled off the ice, immediately left the game, and did not return. Dmitry Kulikov was given two for interference on the play. After another catch penalty, Thomas Plakanitz throws the puck in front. It goes off Dan Ellison in. Plakanitz's 200th career goal. It's one nothing Habs. Meanwhile, Carey Price, still one win away from tying the franchise record for wins in a season. Early in the second, Yermer Jaeger rips one from the slot, but Price flashes the leather. One of his 24 saves, good enough for a 4-1 win. Someone grab that puck for him. Price has tied the record 42 wins this year. Patch is obviously a big part of our hockey club. Um, don't know how he's doing yet. Um, but it was good to see how the guys um, bounced back and, and kept pushing the pace. When one of your leaders goes down, it's, it's an opportunity for other guys, and I thought we were up for the challenge. Uh, obviously, it's you know we'd like to get him back in the lineup, and hopefully he's back next game. I don't know much, but uh, that said, he liked, he liked the way the guy showed some character and some pride and stepped up for uh, a teammate that was down. Moving to the OHL playoffs, Game 6, London and Kitchener. This is the only series yet to be decided. Knights leading 3-2. First period was a bit of a goaltending duel, but then things opened up for the Knights in the second period. Two players recorded their first goals of the postseason about three minutes apart, and then two more added their fifth of the playoffs. Rangers failed to hit the score sheet tonight, and their comeback attempt falls short 5-0 for London. So here you go. The West is now set. Hounds will be playing the defending OHL champion Storm. Sue getting the better of Guelph this year, sweeping the regular season series four straight, though three of those games were decided by just one goal. In this afternoon, the Ottawa 67s looking to stave off elimination in St. Catharines. This game went back and forth until midway through the second when Sioux native Brendan Perlini scored on the power play. Ice Dogs are moving on to the second round 4-3. They will face the Oshawa Generals and the league announced the series schedule for that one late this afternoon. It starts on Friday, which is the same game night for Barrie and North Bay. World Men's Curling Championship, Pat Simmons and Team Canada taking on Finland in the bronze medal game. 1-0 Canada in the second end. Red and white, sitting one, but Finland has hammer. The skip, though, can't get enough on it. Canada steals one to take a 2-0 lead. Fourth end, now 2-1 Canada, sitting a pair with the hammer. Simmons taps two into the forefoot. I guess it's red and black tonight. So. Canada taking a 5-1 lead. And the sixth make it 5-2. They're lying one with hammer. Simmons into the eight foot. Picks up a pair, taking a 7-2 lead. They'll go on to win 8-4 to capture the bronze. 
And although it doesn't really feel like it in here in the north, the boys of summer are back. Major League Baseball opened the 2015 season this evening at Wrigley. John Lester is making just his second ever start at the historic diamond. Top of one, facing cards offseason acquisition Jason Hayward. He rips one into right for the double. Hayward would go three for four in his debut. Nice start. Next batter, Matt Holliday. Cashes in Hayward with a single to right. St. Louis taking an early lead on the play. Lester would last just four and a third in his Cubs debut, giving up three runs on eight hits while striking out six. He didn't get any run support either tonight. Cardinals beat the Cubs 3-0. While Canada's team will hit the field tomorrow afternoon in the Bronx, the Jays open this season on the road against the Yankees. Drew Hutchison getting the call for opening day 2015. He's the youngest pitcher to get the honor in 25 years for the Bluebirds. And he'll be leading a young group, six rookies on the roster. They had a strong spring offensively, though, and they're going to look to keep that momentum going into the regular season. Sean, baseball's back. I'm happy. It's an afternoon game too. tomorrow, too, so I know what I'll be up to. I'm happy, too. <laughs> Thanks, Lee.